Get ready. Let's go. Hey, -o, everybody. I'm Nick, and welcome back to Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. On the last episode, we've been going through this uh, pi pirate's keep, and we were cursed to be a boat. It's the last curse, though, so don't don't feel too bad for those guys. They're just kind of being assholes. Except that last one is just like, really, bro? Really? This how we do? How we do, I guess. Anyway, dodge the waves. That's all I can really say, because otherwise they will push you back, and that will be no fun. You have to backtrack and shit. However, at this point, I think you're fine. Actually, no, we're not fine. We still have to dodge waves. Look, I'm not a freaking Kawasaki machine, you know? this. If I was a Kawasaki machine, this would be fun. This would be wave race. That would be awesome. Hey, something's coming! There, floating in the water! Oh, Jesus, that's way too many text boxes for me. Is that, a, is that a boat? Hey, over here! Save us, please! Unfortunately, I can't unboat here. Kind of a problem. I kind of have things I have to do. <laughs> oh, it's made out of paper! Like, I could do it here, though. But I can't do it there. And that boat was a person! Look at me! As we, uh, jump onto the pirate ship. As it lets me off here. Seriously, that's a lot of shipwreck toads. What the shit? And now we must be like paper once again. As we fly our way over to the to the pipes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, this is the first one. We have to hit both switches. And we'll bring all those toads ever closer. So that's the first one. We now have to hit the second one. We gotta be good about it, you know? We must once again be like paper and fly. This time you gotta be good. And then press B. Oh, oops! Sorry, little Yosh. Sorry, my beard. And then somehow this makes the other flotsam float up. Hey, we can cross over now! Hey, hey! What are we waiting for? Let's go! Yeah, I know there's a, an alarming lack of toad voice. But I don't feel like killing my own throat. Oh, hey, look who's here. Look who's here. Oh, boy. That's gonna be some trouble later. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Chapter 6. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. We came looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well, our ship got surrounded by ghosts out on the ocean, and we all ended up here. Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca. And Frankie's here, too. After my dad forgave us, we set it on a trip. The ship we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us. Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were true, which means he's nearby. Hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back. What? You're after the pirate's treasure because it might contain a crystal star? Well, I think the treasure's right there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I think you. I think I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him one for me. That's right. Just get by all the toads, and we'll be good. In fact, it's literally right here. But whoa! Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost on the way, and, uh... Well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you, and then... 
Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside the pirate ship. And the Pirate King Cortez is in there too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal though, right? You can take a big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure I am. And so is Grotus. Yeah, ain't that suspicious. Oh. By the way, you can flutter over here for whatever reason. There ain't any hidden blocks. You could just do it for whatever reason. I think there might be a reason later. I don't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay the man. Okay, we're all full up. All right, Goombella, I'm gonna need you because we're gonna have to tattle. Didn't think you'd be doing the boss fight here, but okay. You ignored my warning. Come inside the door and be lost in darkness. Bruh, have you seen the internet? Come into my... <laughs> Enough! I'm tired of the spooky woo business. I am a pirate, blasted. Pirates do not moan. I am a cold-blooded villain who robs innocents of life and loot, not a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure! And this, this is my ship! What are you doing here? Speak! I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo! Yo ho 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 ho! Spanish pirates! Oh! And look at this asshole! Goombella, you're only needed for one thing here, and that's to tattle Cortez. Afterwards, you can get out of here! That's Cortez! He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts the island. He's got 20 hit points, 4 attack, and 1 defense. His HP may seem low, but, he, but, but he's a spirit, so even when his HP hits 0, he'll come back. Plus, he has tons of different attacks. He's as tough and scary as he looks. I'd say just keep damaging him, and sooner or later he'll go down for good. Let's give this tormented spirit some eternal rest. Yeah, he's got uh, 20 hit points, but uh, he's got multiple forms. And the bone pile is literally the same as Cortez. So you can, if you've got the spike shield, you can multi-bounce on his ass. Oh, I didn't guard that right. So, by the way, this battle theme is awesome. Haha! <laughs> wow, you're already down to eight hit points? Damn. At this point, just switch to Vivian. She's probably likely one of your best partners for this uh, occasion. Cause, you know, setting things on fire. Remember, you can set bones on fire. That's kinda cool. Man, I could be targeting the bone pile, but I'm just being an asshole. Shade Fist! And yeah. You think that'd be easy? Oh, we're just getting started! We're just getting started. We got three phases, boys! And if you think Cortez is being too much of a hard ass, you could jump on the bone pile again. A what? Oh yeah, jumping on the bone pile makes him retreat. Okay, the fiery jinx will only target, uh... It, he's not actually multiple targets. And the fire will be very good for you. Oh, he charged up. What an asshole. What an asshole. You know what we do to assholes like you? We do that. Can you even retreat further? Wait, can I not target the thing? I mean, we could do this. Ha ha! Your attacks will not hit me now! Their bones mean nothing to me. Unfortunately, you get a free turn. You're just gonna keep charging, eh? I mean, I wasn't really given much of an opportunity to attack. 
So I'ma do this instead. And then I punch your face! There we go. There we go. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. Those, however, scare me. Look at those weapons. And yes, they each have individual hit point values. Thankfully, if you got Fiery Jinx ready... Actually, how much does Fiery Jinx cost? No, oh, it costs six. Well, shit. I do have this tea still. Let's do that. And then let's launch the Jinx. There we go. Nice! That takes care of all the weapons all at once. And then you only have to manage Cortez. But the weapons will come back. So, do what you will. Haha! <laughs> I got some jumps. I got these mad hops, bruh! <laughs> How do you like burn damage? Ah! I can't take much more of this. This calls for something special. Now you will see the true might of my spirit form. As he sucks the soul of half the audience to restore hit points. What an asshole. Oh, you got back up? Oh, you got back up? Oh, well, honey, I have something just for you. I have fire, asshole. And then I have more. Oh, I have plenty more. I have so much art. Oh, we can easily settle this next turn. Ow, that is hard to guard. What the sh oh, he's... You are so whacked! Fucking x not get out of here! Douchebag. Alright, I think I can settle this real easy. Take fist, asshole! There's the stylish. And he's toast! Who the fuck it? No, my treasure! <laughs> I'm done for. Yo, -ho 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 -ho! you are foolish, amigo. For I am not dead. Well, technically I was already dead, but my spirit endures tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live, amigo. Still, guarding this treasure for hundred years is almost as boring as death. What? You are not even interested in my treasure? Then why are you here? Huh? You want this, amigo? This little rock over here? Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did really, not really like that one anyway. We got a crystal star! Oh yeah, sweet beast. End of chapter! Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fell ship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose?
Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you, amigo. And then, I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King, Cortez. All right, we get booted out. What a dick. At this point, though, uh, first things first, I need healing. Trust me, you're going to want to hit this block again. And then let's go back to everyone else over here. Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you all right? Yahoo! You beat Cortez? Wow, you're really something. Yes! Now that you've got some free time, why don't you get us out of here? Um. All that she can cause this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape. I guess that's not much help. What? A breeze? How are we going to bust that solid rock, though? We have Bobbery. Oh, yes. Ha! It worked just like I said. Well, me first. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. This damp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. And all the toads are out of this bitch. But as you saw, little four eyes is missing. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you. But I need to leave now. Mm. We've made it back outside. Who to thunk it? And something tells me the quality of these uh, toads has decreased by uh, just a little bit. Thunk it. Ah, oh, Mario! Welcome back to you, my stalwart captain! So, have you found the treasure? How was our little expedition faring? Mm -hmm. What? The Spear of Cortez was guarding the treasure? And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there? Ah! What were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Oh, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Could it be? B brother? You, what are you doing here? I, I, I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island. I came looking. But ghosts attacked us and our boat just sank. But I found you now. Huh? Your boat sank too? So you're all stranded here as well? Hold on, huh? What was that? Ah! What is that? X not battleship. Pardon me, guys. But I mean, but 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 but. So sorry to surprise you. No, wait. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Good job getting it for me. Oi, now. Eat that good old four eyes. Yeah, that is four eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, four eyes. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Germanic entrance here! Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... But 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 The Great Lord Crump! Oh, man, did I fool you. I was the mastermind in the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now, Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the Crystal Star. Because you know what'll happen if you don't. Starboard cannons! Port cannons! Fire! 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 Bah -ha 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 
<laughs> I yikes! Four eyes was a pirate all this time. Madness. Well, what are we all standing around for? Cannons, people! We must flee. Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Wait! I have it! I'm a genius! We have a ship at hand! And a fine one, I must say! Mario, take me to Cortez! Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Flavia, what are you talking about? That's crazy! This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, I would even lend you his ship, yeah, huh? He'll cream you! Kareem you! Hey, I may be a coward and a cat, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try, Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. By the way, we're gonna get Goombella, because we're gonna be in for a fight! And we gotta get this uh, crump tattle here. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm sure Cortez is not happy with all the cannon fire either. So let's get this all taken care of, eh? It is you again? Did you forget something? Cortez! I have to speak with you! C -c Could you lend me your ship? What? What would possess you to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? M -m my name is Flavio. We are in big trouble and we could really use your ship! We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits! So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about, muchacho? I don't rent this ship to for pleasure cruises. And even if I were to lend it to you, this ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to powering the ship is the mystical skull gem. The, the skull gem? You, you mean this? You! You have the skull gem! Uh, yes. Yes, I do so. Alright, what would you say to this proposition then? Take the gem handed down through generation of my family and lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal. Do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask of such a thing of me. I should turn you to a piñata and throw a party on the beach. Wait just a moment. Do not make me have Mario trounce you again. While he fights you, I will throw the stone to the sea while you will never find it. How would that be? Ah! You're out of my bones, Senor Peacock. Very well. I accept your bargain, amigo. Now, be very careful with that gem. Ah! Check and mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in no negotiation, no. You can talk your way to any deal, I say. Now, you take this. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. So Mario, feel free to thank me any time for saving us all, but for now, we sail! So in the meantime, we just must... We simply have to exit the ship, and then we will go to combat. Hey, we're coming too. Let's take them. Come on. All for one, guys. Oi, I ain't little old Flavio Fancy Pants Hog to glory. Come on, Captain Stash. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to the open waters. Ghosts are our friends now! But, 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 I got a 
ammo to spare. How's that for boom, bossa boom? You fire cannons here without my permission? You have nerve, mortal! What the? Ship battle! Wee! Gah! I'm gonna sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean! Hear my voice, spirits! Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear! Oh, all the crew are helping out too! Mario, my captain! It is now your turn again! Get over there and duel that cad! Fight time! Bah, 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 uh, I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds! Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed! Bah, huh? Enjoy! So, thankfully we don't have to tattle the x knots but we gotta tattle Lord Crump. Because we actually haven't managed to do that before. That's Lord Crump! Not this guy again. Ugh. He's got 30 hit points, 3 attack, and 0 defense. He just attacks normally, so don't worry about him much. But those Eggnots all around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have the focus to attack. Get Crump! Can do! Pushing buttons! 11 damage! Ow! Son of a bitch. Yeah, I can guard that just fine, asshole. Speaking of which, let's keep the bouncing going! Ha-ha! Oh, we got formation switching. Buh -huh -huh! You're not gonna get off that easily, losers! Let's see how you like this. X nuts. Oh, you're gonna do that, eh? Well, I have a little something for you. You're at three hit points now. What are you gonna do about? Ow! 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 That was nothing. Although that was something. There's only one way to disrespect you now. Hammerwax, son! Yeah, he's gonna heal up, heal back up like a bitch. And then he's gonna... Bahur! Man, this is no good. I thought I was almost aced for a second there. But you haven't finished me off just yet, you sea urchins. I'm down, but no way I'm out. Oh! Bingo! Let's just fill the audience with bombs. Or not. I mean, that works too. Oh, I flubbed it. Oh, you're gonna roll into a ball? Oh, what a bitch. Five damage. That's not really very good for Goombella. So you know it. Actually, what is Sweet Feast? Oh, right. That's a better sweet treat. Right. But I'm going to just rely on my feet, if you get what I mean. Look at the damage, son. Look at the motherfucking damage. Lil Yosh, it's your turn. Ow. Eh, fine. <laughs> That's less fine. We're just gonna keep the bounces going. Okay, you've got eight hit points left. Uh, can I turn it? Let's see how many eggs I can throw at you. I can throw two eggs. God damn it. Oh, wow, I actually shrunk him? Oh, 
Oh, fuck you. Ow, that's actually gonna kill me. Oh, oh wait, I have the life shrew. Insurance! I have insurance! I'm fine! Oh. That could have been bad. Oh, I don't have enough points for that. Oops. All right, you're finished, asshole. Oh my god, are you serious? Man, this is getting old. How could I lose? Again! I hate losing! Now I gotta think of another excuse for Godus. Ah! With that, pow! I'm gone. Ha ha! Yeah, yeah, we whipped him! That loser won't get in our face for a while for sure. And with that, I think we're going to end things here for today. So, on today's episode of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, we have entreated Cortez. But first, we had to give both him and Crump a whooping. And on the next episode, let's see what Peach and Bowser are up to. So with that, I'm Nick, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>